Hello friends, how are you? Uh, in this session, I will show you uh, how we can set up a downloaded theme and how we can set a custom theme inside the SPMVC application. Normally, we buy a theme from the um, from different kind of sources like theme forest and then we implement this theme inside our application if we have not a professional designer, right? No. I have a, uh, already a theme. Let me show you uh, the output of this theme. And I will implement this theme inside my application. So go to the file. Uh, go to the file. I, I just want to show you the theme. Right. And go to the default layout. OK. So if you have this kind of theme, and you want to implement inside the application in the .NET 6 application, then how you can uh, set up the theme. Uh, I will also show you that you can buy uh, theme from the theme forest. It is one of the basic source for different kinds of HTML, Bootstrap, React.js, and Angular themes. And here you can buy themes at very affordable price. Mm. OK, so uh, if I just search for the theme that I have just opened, Limitless Admin Theme, OK? OK, so he here you can see different kind of themes. Unfortunately, at this time, uh, the theme that I have uh, searched uh, not coming in the first page of the theme forest. So you can buy here different kind of HTML and other templates at a very affordable price, you can see. Right? Now, at this time, I will implement this theme inside my SPMVC application. OK? So let me create a project. I will uh, search here for spmvc.net core and select this template. Click on next. Uh, keep the name as theme project, right? And click on next. I will select .net 6 and uh, uh, keep the other things at, as it is and click on create. will take a little time and let me show you the file uh, that we have just opened change log okay no I will open this file inside uh, Visual Studio code okay go to the uh, Visual Studio and uh, here our project created successfully if I just show you the structure of the project, it is the basic SPMVC.NET 6 application. Now go to the pro, uh, run the application. The first time when you created the project, it takes a little time. OK, so the default uh, template is associated with our project. You can see that it is a very basic template. And now we will implement this beautiful admin template inside our this application. OK, so I have just opened this page inside the Visual Studio code uh, from here. Uh, it is my file. I just right click and open in Visual Studio Code. Okay. Now here you can see that there are different uh, CSS files and uh, JavaScript file associated. So I will first copy all these links and go to your project to the head and to the layout page. Okay. Now here in the header, 
remove uh, comment all these one that are coming as a default with a project sorry control control z i will go to the visual studio code again select again control c and control v okay no go to the bottom of this page and see whether some other uh, files link are associated with this project or not think uh, we have no other files in the bottom of the application right okay so go to the application control s and in the bottom remove also these links control case c okay so i have commented the default uh, links to the js and bootstrap and css files and i have just included the files from the theme now all these files like the style.min.cs and these uh, other files currently not exist inside my project so let's me uh, hard reload the project and show you the output okay here you can see that uh, nothing uh, appears like in this way so i will first uh, copy all the files from the team and i will pass inside my uh, project so go uh, if if you just look over the uh, path it is in the asset css and bootstrap okay so asset yes asset css uh, right and go back asset js asset css uh, and let's me also watch a photo is there any image file img and it is in the global asset right so we have the global asset if i just go to the main folder limitless uh, bootstrap 4 template yes we have the global asset folder at the project level so copy these one and paste here inside your project uh, you know that uh, in spmvc.net6 we have to keep all the statics file inside the ww root folder so i will just add a new folder here mm, theme content right and inside the theme content i will just paste here the uh, the folder that i have copied from the theme folder okay and no i will also copy the other uh, folder like asset ah, yes it is one of the main project uh, ltr default full asset yes i will also copy this folder copy and paste inside your project theme content folder okay go to the visual studio and here you can see the i have just copied the asset and the global asset 
folders from the team uh, downloaded folder because you can see that all of our static files are inside these two uh, folders. So to give a path, uh, to give the right path to your folder, mm, just go like in this way. I think I should first stop the application and rebuild so that the things loaded successfully. Rebuild. Okay, rebuild successfully. Now I will give path to this folder. Uh, folder names is not loaded successfully. Mm. Content, right? And inside the theme content, we have the folder global assets. Right. Control S. Uh, let's me reload the page again so that it have access to this new edit folder. Yes, now it's working fine. Theme. Content. Sorry, control Z. Okay. Here in the theme content, we have the assets, CSS, and other file. Now, the second thing is to copy uh, all the content from the theme page and paste it inside your application. Now I will copy the whole body and will paste inside my um, inside my just remove this one also. Okay. The header and uh, I will paste all the content inside the index dot HTML file uh, page at this time. Okay. Yes, uh, but I should copy, I think, not the body tag. I should copy this one. Okay. Control C. And no, I have to remove the footer also. Um, go to the index and paste here. Right. And uh, now go to the website page. Nothing worse. Okay. Now it's uh, some of the uh, things are loaded, but uh, not completed. Okay. Now let's me also copy this path and paste here for the global assets. For this one, for this one, and for this one, I have to give the correct path to the global asset. Okay. And uh, no, I have also to give the path to the asset folder. This one also. Control S and hard reload again. Okay, uh, I think all the things loaded successfully, but here we have one other. Uh, uh, I think that uh, that uh, we have covered uh, the full length um, here uh, in the browser, but here we have some margin from the left and right. So I have also to remove these two div, and I will just add here a div. And inside the div, I have just to paste the body. Okay, Control S. 
Okay. No, it's look like uh, or it's look like according to the team page, right? Uh, you know, uh, and you can see that we have some missing images like this one. So we can also uh, set the path to the images. If I just go to the layout, uh, layout and here, uh, yes, our main content is inside the index and search for IMG. And here in the EMG, you have to give the actual path. The actual path is team content and global asset. Okay. Go to the next image and replace here the path also. And here replace also for this one. Okay. To the next one. So in this way, you have to replace all the path of your images and other files. Right, Control S, and I will refresh. I just search the image. Uh, the image is inside the sidebar user search. Okay, and here I have to give the path. So content art reload. Okay, the image loaded successfully. No, I have set up the complete theme, this one inside my uh, website. Uh, if I just go to the here, I have I think some I have. Uh, some missing things. I have uh, implemented the home dot change log page. Okay. Uh, I just want to implement um, the layout page, the default layout. Then I have go to this page, index dot html. Right. But at this time I have implemented some other page. If I just search this one, home dot change log. Okay, okay, so I have implemented this theme inside my application. Uh, no, basically, you have uh, uh, implemented the theme files inside your project. No, you can add any page from the theme to your, uh, to your website uh, because you have imported the CSS and JavaScript and images file. Just copy the content of uh, any page from the theme and paste inside your application according to your requirements. Uh, I will just copy the header from the theme, the main nav, and uh, I will copy this one because I want the header to be static for all the pages, and I will paste in the inside the layout. again okay no if let's suppose you click on this page on this one and on this then you will have access uh, the, the, I mean the layout the sidebar and the header will be remain save uh, will be remain same because you keep all the things inside the inside the layout right so it is the basic way to implement any kind of theme just import the CSS and JavaScript files and keep it inside your www root folder and then um, copy the uh, uh, CSS and JavaScript files and give the right path according to your project. Uh, and uh, everything will be fine. Thank you.